In today's video, we'll be talking about how to create, edit, and read PDF documents on your mobile device. If you're interested in content like this one, please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on all the pro tips that I'll be dropping in subsequent videos. Let's jump right in. To be able to edit PDF documents, you have to go to Play Store, search for Zodo PDF Reader and Editor, open it, it runs a scan of your device internal memory and loads all available PDF documents on a list as you can see here. It is very easy to create a PDF document. There is this button on the bottom right, you can tap on it to create a new PDF and you can create a new PDF from a blank document, you can create a new PDF from an image or from a document or from a web page. So let's create a new PDF from an image so you just tap on PDF from image go into your gallery or wherever your images are stored pick the image that you want to make into a PDF document select the destination that you want to save the new PDF document and there you are you have your new PDF now if you want to go into an already existing document you can go back to the list then you pick the desired documents you want to edit assuming we want to edit this particular one here so now we have the document loaded in front of us now let's look at the user interface let's see all the available tools that we can use in doing certain things on this document apart from just reading the content of the document like we said before we we are talking about how to edit PDF so first just tap on the edit button there are so many options here you can even write let's say you want to sign you want to sign on the PDF you can bring in a signature you can draw on your PDF and of course uh, the, it comes with other other drawing tools here you can bring in any object of your choice at the bottom here you can bring in any object of your choice into the PDF document okay let's bring in a watermelon that's if that will make any difference in our document now you can bring in any of these things you can also highlight you have the highlight tool here which you can assuming you want to highlight a section of the document in a certain color you can do that if you want to change the color you can you, you have your presets colors here you can select to highlight in that particular color and it is applied to your document you can highlight text you can underline text let's select some some additional text to underline you can underline that text and you can change the color of your underline here let's make it blue you can change the thickness of your underline of course that's too thick so we leave it at one point you can change the opacity of your underline maybe you want it to be very visible or you want it to be less visible to avoid it being too distracting you can change that here so now we've talked about how to highlight how to underline you can bring in call outs let's say you want to make a comment on a certain section of the document then you can write what you want let's say this this is a very interesting okay so if anytime you you come here you will see your call out and with the piece of text that you attached to it let's say you just want it to appear in the in the margin so there are so many tools here you can bring in an image and so on that is just in the editing part you can rearrange pages assuming you want to rearrange you can add pages you can delete you can rotate you can rearrange import and export pages assuming you are just interested in one page of this document you can just select that page and say export it allows you to send that just that page and it is exported to a folder outside that document assuming you want to rearrange the page numbers you can just click and drag over and automatically the page number changes from 214 to 215 and the one that takes its place or also takes its page number so let's take this back you can delete pages you can rotate pages like now i'm rotating this page but i need to undo that so in a case where you deleted a page by mistake you can just press undo and the page comes back you can add pages either from image from another document or you can create a new blank page you can add a lined page you can add a grid page you can select your page size here you can pick the paper size in this case a4 pick the page color orientation page count etc that is in a case where you want to add more than one page if this video was useful to you please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video